Hello everyone welcome back to the part 10 or chapter 10 of hematology that is platelets consider subscribing to my channel for more of medical content and health tips i'll be uploading my notes on facebook as well as instagram platelets platelets or thrombocytes are small colorless non nucleated and moderately refractive bodies so platelets are basically colorless non and non nucleated diameter is 2.5 micron and the volume of the platelets are 7.5 cubic micron let's understand shape platelets are spherical or rod shape and they become oval or disc shaped when inactivated means when they are not activated they are in oval or disc shape sometimes they even appear as dumbbell shape comma shape cigar shape or any unusual shape let's understand the structure and composition so platelets have cell membrane three structures such as cell membrane microtubules and cytoplasm first the cell membrane cell membrane is 6 nanometer thick it has lipids carbohydrates proteins and glycoproteins together consist the cell membrane physiologically some are important such as glycoprotein which prevents adherence of platelets to normal endothelium but accelerate the adherence of platelets to collagen and damage endothelium in the ruptured blood vessels next the phospholipids which accelerate the clotting reactions basically cell membrane consists of all these substances which are physiologically important next we come to the microtubules now these microtubules these form ring around the cytoplasm these are made up of polymerized protein that is tubulin and gives structural support to inactivated platelets and to maintain the oval or disc shape third part is the cytoplasm the cytoplasm of the platelets include golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria microtubules and filaments and different types of granules proteins enzymes and hormonal substances these are physiologically important and have particular functions this is how the platelet structure appears it has all the different uh, cell organelles and it mainly it has the microtubules next we come to the normal count and variations platelet count is 2 lakh 50000 cubic mm of blood it can be 2 to 4 lakhs that is the normal count of platelets so basically it is physiological variation and pathological variation first let's understand physiological changes now in age it is less in infants and by the third month it reaches normal but from birth now sex male and female have equal numbers except in menses female platelets decrease and in high altitudes there is increase of platelet count and after meals also the platelet increases pathological variations it is very important thrombocytopenia which means decrease in platelet count now this is uh, seen in many such as acute infections chicken pox typhoid tuberculosis purpura and many similar diseases thrombocytosis increase in platelet count is called thrombocytosis it is mainly seen in allergic conditions asphyxia hemorrhage bone fracture rheumatic fever and many such diseases third is the thrombocytemia which is persistent and abnormal increase in the platelet count so basically there is persistent abnormal increase such as in uh, carcinoma chronic leukemia and hodgkin disease so the three are thrombocytopenia is decreased platelet count thrombocytosis is increased platelet count and thrombocytemia is persistent and abnormal increase platelet count now we come to the properties of platelets they here you need to remember the three a's which are adhesiveness aggregation and agglutination 
So the three is first we understand the adhesiveness. When having contact with any rough surface, the platelets are activated and they stick to the surface. Now the properties, the factors such as collagen, thrombin, adenosine, diphosphate, calcium ions, von Willebrand factor, P-selectin and Victronectin. These all are responsible for the adhesive property of platelets. Next is the aggregation. The activated platelets group together and become sticky. Now here uh, for stickiness ADP and thromboxin A2 are responsible. Third is the agglutination. Agglutination is clumping together of platelets. Now due to the actions of some platelets, agglutinins and platelet activating factor, these are responsible for agglutination. So don't forget the three A's. Those are adhesiveness, aggregation and agglutination. Function of platelets. Uh, let's understand the functions. Normally the platelets are inactive and they execute their actions only when activated. So they need activation for their functions. First one is role in blood clotting. Platelets are responsible for the formation of intrinsic prothrombin activator which is in turn responsible for clotting onset. Second is role in clot formation. Now in blood clot cells, platelets, these are entrapped in between the fibrin threads. Now cytoplasm of platelets, these contract, these have particular contractile proteins such as actin, myosin, thrombosthenin, which help in clot retraction. Retraction is breaking down of the clot. Role in prevention of the blood clots, sorry, blood loss. Platelet accelerate hemostasis by secreting the 5-HT which constriction uh, of blood vessels takes place where it adhesive property and by formation of the temporary plug. Through this it helps in blood loss prevention. Role in repair of ruptured blood vessels. Platelet derived growth factor formed in cytoplasm of platelets are useful to repair the endothelium and in defense mechanism by agglutination Platelets encircle the foreign bodies and destroy them by phagocytosis. Lifespan and fate of platelets. Lifespan is 10 days. It can vary from 8 to 11 days. Platelets are destroyed by a tissue macrophage system in spleen. Remember this because whenever there is splenomegaly, platelet count decreases and whenever there is splenectomy, there is increase in the platelet count. Thank you for watching my video. Do subscribe and keep supporting.